Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to show you how to make delicious limoncello tiramisu. Now limoncello tiramisu is a twist on a classic tiramisu which tiramisu is usually made with coffee and by the way tiramisu is the Italian way to say it. Um, I never understood why a lot of Italian chefs got picked on when they say you know an the word the right way, you know, an Italian word the right way. Because let's face it, half the time I say it with an you know, American accent, uh, the American way, I'm just faking it for you. <laughs> because if I said to my dad, tiramisu, instead of tiramisu, he'd be like, get that apron off and get out. That's what he would say to me. Um, but all jokes aside, a tiramisu is a traditional Italian dessert. It's layers of lady fingers and coffee and custard and just like kind of a repeat. This is a sort of a summer spring version. And I figured, you know, with Father's Day around the corner, Mother's Day around the corner, spring and summer in general, this is such a fantastic recipe. You can make it in advance. It's such a showstopper and it is seriously one of the most amazing things in the world. <laughs> Look at this hand. It's like it knows <laughs> as a mind of its own. Let me run you through the list of ingredients because it's short and sweet, kind of like me. What I have here is lots of mascarpone. Mascarpone is the Italian version of cream cheese. It's lovely and soft and fantastic. What I have here is some lemon curd. I bought this, but I also very often make it myself and you can make it yourself and I have a great recipe for it if you want to do it. Lemon, limoncello, which is a lemon liqueur, and I'll talk about this in a minute. I've got some heavy cream, granulated sugar, uh, water. These are Savoyardi, which are Italian lady fingers and it's really important that you use these and not the spongy kind. All right, let's get started. Let's work on the syrup first. So, small saucepan, to it I'm going to add some water. Now, limoncello is, is a liqueur made out of lemons and sugar and straight alcohol, really. This, by the way, this is Nonna's limoncello. So every time I go to Italy, my Nonna makes limoncello um, a lot because she refuses to buy it and I don't blame her. And every time I pick up to go, she puts a bunch of it in like little bottles and I can put, she puts them in my suitcase and when I go home, I have limoncello and it's the best ever. So I'm gonna wait for that to come to a simmer and while that happens, I've got my standing mixer with a uh, whisk attachment and I'm just gonna whisk my cream until it's nice and thick and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. All right, so my sugar has dissolved. You put that in there. Now you're gonna follow that up with your limoncello which is just, I know my Nona's limoncello is the very best in the entire world, but you can use any limoncello you've got. Set this aside for just one tiny second because I just want to zest half of my lemon zest in my mascarpone because before I go to cut it to add the juice to this, I want to use the zest first. So I'm just going to add half of the lemon zest here and then I'll add the other half of the lemon zest to my limoncello mixture plus the juice of a whole lemon to my limoncello mixture. So now zest and then I'll juice it. My syrup is done, my cream is whipped, time to work on the remaining part of the custard. In the same standing mixer, I'm going to add my lemon curd. Now lemon curd has egg yolks in it and lots of fantastic things. Now you might notice that I'm not using um, any egg yolks in here and traditionally for a tiramisu, you do use some raw eggs to kind of hold everything together. You make like a zabayone. I don't always do that because I don't always think it's necessary. Now, in my book, in my Laura in the Kitchen book behind me, there's a fantastic recipe for a hazelnut tiramisu, and that does call for a traditional zabayone, the traditional egg yolk mixture, which I think it makes a big difference in that one. But in here, because I'm adding the lemon curd, I don't think it's necessary. And I'm also adding cream, so it's all good. You gotta just trust your girl on this. So I'm gonna add the mascarpone, the lemon curd, and the sugar. And now I'm going to attach a paddle attachment and I'm going to mix this on medium speed for a good four to five minutes or until the mixture is super creamy. And I will show you what that looks like. This thing and I don't always get along. Don't ask. It's not a tilt head and it drives me nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna just mix this until it's nice and creamy. This is that gorgeous or what? Oh, that is that I would like to drink that. Yes, sir. Sugar's dissolved as well because it's been mixing for a while. And now I'm gonna fold in the whipped cream, right? You don't want to lose a lot of the 
height and the airiness. So I just fold carefully, but I don't kind of go crazy. Oh, look how gorgeous. I mean, honestly, give me a bowl of that and I'm happy. I would not be complaining about that. All righty. This is exactly what I want. So now we have everything ready. We've got the syrup and we've got the custard. We've got the savoyardi. We are ready to go. And this is, a, this is how you do it. You're going to do everything in thirds. So it's going to be four layers of savoyardi all together just because you need a top. You take each one, you dip it quickly in your limoncello mixture. Quickly, not too long because believe it or not, this quick little dip absorbs so much. And then just make a layer. Okay, that is the top. So what I ended up doing is three layers of lady fingers, three layers of the custard, ending with the custard. So I'm not gonna do a fourth layer of lady fingers just because it doesn't need it. Um, but you can if you want to, and you can if your dish is deeper than mine. Uh, but this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to pop this baby. I'm licking my, like I'm sucking on my, my saliva because I've been eating the custard and it's literally the best thing on the planet. So I'm going to pop this into the fridge because you want this to set. It's gonna set for a while. I'm going to loosely cover it with plastic wrap. Don't worry about how the top looks because traditionally you would touch this up with uh, some uh, cocoa powder at the end. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna top it with lemon and raspberries and mint and powdered sugar and it's gonna be gorgeous. So I'm going to loosely cover this with plastic wrap, pop it in the fridge for several hours or even overnight if you want to so that it sets and then we serve and it is going to be, you don't even know, but you will know, but you will. I'm just topping this with some slices of lemon, some fresh raspberries, a little mint, just to kind of bring it to life and make it look really springy and really summery and fresh and it's going to be my mouth is watering because I know what this is going to be like. So I'm very interested to just give this a dusting of powdered sugar. Not really for sweetness, but mostly because it just looks so pretty. Look at that. All right, now let's cut a slice because it's been setting for a while. So I'm just going to cut this little corner piece right here because it's got my name written all over it. Oh, it's perfectly set. I mean, honestly, 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 I mean, you know, honestly, it's amazing. The lemon comes through, it's not overpowering, just the perfect amount of limoncello. Mm. What a delight, and then some. I mean, the perfect thing to make ahead for any occasion, any party, anything that you've got coming up, you and everyone else will love this. Just go to lauraandthekitchen.com to get the ring recipe. Please make this as soon as possible. You will not regret it, I promise. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I'll see you soon. Close.